impressive light show, Dr. Elemis. But I still fail to see how any of this would be of interest to my employer. The next phase of my work will focus on the stabilization and application of the God Particle. You were able to transport the danger element? Yes, it is here. But I will need your support if I am to regain the respect of the Lucretius Society. My employer has no use for the arrogance of Lucretius. We both know that he cannot resist this kind of power. Perhaps not, but he's far more patient than you give him credit for. How did he find us here, Fortunate? An intruder, Trevor? Um, if you'll excuse me, a minor situation must be dealt with. Vokshnit will show you the door, Monsieur Saltzman. For the danger element, are we, Metal Jitney? I have anticipated your visit, my nimble little monkey. My men spilled the canister away only moments before your arrival. <laughs> Wait! Where are you going?
Pardon me. I believe you have something I'm going to have to take away from you. By force. We have Battle Jitney cornered. He's being sternly dealt with. yourself alone, even in your own imagination. Alone, though not alone. Not truly, never truly. For you are so good at lying to yourself. For had she not been there, would you not have been dead? Has not the one you would push away become your only real hope against death? I see a pattern. All you do is talk in circles. Yes, of course. But circles were always good enough for you. What are you doing here? I suppose I could have left you lying out there. Do you even remember what happened? What are you doing? My father loved you. Sometimes I think he loved you more than me. We've been through that before, Enki. He had an unconventional way of looking at technology. He believed that the secret to harnessing any force is hidden in the methods that we use to measure it. Even time. He spent his whole life 
trying to build a machine that could do this. And as ridiculous as it sounds, you and I both know he succeeded. This is the celebration of that success. The Paraclete. And he built her for you, brother. The son he never had. The Paraclete does not owe its speed to the power of its engine. In fact, my father once told me that the Paraclete isn't even that fast at all. It's simply her experience of time that is fast. This is all made possible by my father's universal pendulum. Every piece of his dream is right here, except for its heart. The danger element. What are you saying? The danger element united with the Paraclete could do more than just pressurize time. This is exactly the reason the Order wants me to find the danger element in the first place. To prevent its use for such selfish reasons. Selfish? He's your father as much as mine, Jimmy. He was. If I help you get the danger element back, you're going to help me save my father. Your father's dead. Not for long. Oh man, you guys again? We're here to collect this month's payment. Payment? I never bought anything from you guys. Mr. Derwitt's protection does not come for free. Protection? You guys are the only ones ever messing with me. Look, you can pay with diamonds, or you can pay with your life. Well, uh, wait, diamonds? Yeah, diamonds. I don't, I don't know, but he's like... Where are the diamonds? I don't know about any diamonds. Are you sure you're in the right place? Look, you must be hoarding them around here somewhere, you muddy diamond hog. Where are they being hogged? Hogged? All right, you filthy pack rat. Battle Jitney. Kill him! Hiroshima, and I'm thinking, oh man, my dad's gonna be so pissed. The description of the unusual weapon was exactly the lead I'd been looking for. The American Top Secret Agency for the Handling of Top Secret Situations had assigned me to track down Dr. Trevor Elemis, and recent movements had led me to believe he was now in the city of Houston. The unwitting discovery of this abominable device by the police proved it. He was here. He'd struck some sort of deal with the local crime syndicate, which would explain why Lupo's gang was apprehended. However, that isn't what particularly interested me about this crime scene. While my superiors were in no way interested in theories about secret societies like the Knights of the Benedictine Seal, I was, and I had been conducting my own investigation on them for quite some time. And now, to my surprise, they were apparently operating right under my nose, while still providing what progress reports I could to my supervisor concerning my pursuit of Trevor Elemis, I began a peripheral investigation on the Knights of the Benedictine Seal. I didn't have to look for evidence of their activity. The media and the public at large believed the exploits of the Knights were the work of one man, a vigilante, who they had given the name of the Stuntman. 
The Knight's carefully laid deception had created the image of a single veritable superhero, undoubtedly striking fear into the shadowy corners and dark alleys of crime throughout this city. It was genius, and I was obsessed with knowing their secrets. So much so that I may have temporarily disordered my priorities. Say, man, would you say this is some bad news? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take some action here. Hello, Monsieur Derwitt. How are my prototypes faring? Not so good, man. Those things are like bombs blowing up my men, left and correct. Well, let us remember the meaning of the word, prototype. No offense, Captain. But it seems like all you know how to make is protocons. I think it's about time you got me something that works real good, like, know what I'm saying? The word is prototype, Monsieur Derwitt. And perhaps I should remind you of our agreement. You are to provide me with what I need, and in return, I will give you access to all of my experimental weaponry. I have lived up to my end of the deal. Name one thing that me and my boys haven't provided for you, Monsignor. Where is the danger element? What do you mean that? You mean that little metal can? It is the most important component of my work, Monsieur Dillwitt. And, by the way, I am not a Monsignor, nor am I a Capitan. I am a doctor. Well, hey, man, maybe you could come over here and do a little house call for me. I've got this nasty thing growing on my back. It is you. I am not that kind of doctor. Well, I'll call your receptionist then and make an appointment. And don't worry about your danger can. I got my super spy on the case. I certainly hope so. Do. I was able to infiltrate Derwitt's syndicate. He hired me to track down the danger element for him. The money's good, too. What's in it for us? The money. Right, and what else? Have you ever heard of Ronaldo Scorpion? Yeah, the mayor's kid. He's a spoiled brat. He knows something. I think he's friends with someone in the Luciferian circle. Who's the friend? Saltzman? I don't know. Well, let's go ask him. Can I drive? <laughs> Pops off. I'm gonna break his arm. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna twist it and I'm gonna snap it right in his face. I'd kiss any man who could break an arm like that. You might get the chance, sugar lips. But first, I have a proposal. How about you go get ready? Because I don't want to be late for this party. Well, I accept your proposal. from the newspaper? What do you know about the Luciferians? <laughs> like, I would tell you. Tell us. Tell you what? I told you to leave that in the car. Your way is too slow. Are you guys on your honeymoon or something? Quiet. Oh, okay. Where are they keeping the danger element? At the annex. We'll never get in there. What are they planning to use it for? Carlotto's excavating this machine. It's old. Really old. 
They say it's some sort of radio. It's for talking to... To what? They, they call them the Ascended Masters? I don't know, they're like spirits or something. They need the danger element for it to work. When? In four days at their site. I want you to report back to Derwin. You want me to tell them about this? No, I want you to give them false information. When we hit the Luciferians, I want Derwin's gang as far away as possible. And when you're done, cut off all communications with them. Things are about to get a lot more dangerous. Super Spy, that's my Super Spy. Hey everybody, Super Spy's here. Get it? Soup? Super Spy? Man, I love a good soup, man. A good soup is like a good night's sleep in a golden bedchamber while you recline yourself into slumber upon a silver-plated mattress. Forgive my lack of manners. I trust that you have some information regarding the location of the danger tube. The danger element was stolen by a gang known as Satan's Rifle. They're moving it to the abandoned shipping distribution center outside of Modesto tomorrow. It's the only chance you'll get. Oh, really? That ain't what your buddy told me. What are you talking about? One of your old pals from the Order works for me. Told me all about you as soon as I hired you. He bumped old Scorpio in for information right after y'all left. Which means I know the Luciferians have the danger element. I also know where your book, boyfriend, brother, whatever. I know where he's gonna be tomorrow. So, Dr. Elvis is gonna get his canister back. Old Andros over there, he's gonna get his sweet revenge against battle, whatever. And I can't help wonder, what's in it for me? All right, I get to kill you. It hadn't been easy, but I had finally caught up with one of the Knights of the Benedictine Seal. I found over the past few days that the Knights leave almost no footprints at all. They practically don't exist. Oh crap, mother suck. It's a trap. Durrett knows everything. If you go after the danger element tomorrow, they'll kill you. I have to. We're not gonna get another chance like this. You'll die. You wanted the damn thing, didn't you? How far are you willing to go for it? supervisor had called me back to headquarters. His timing could not have been worse. Give me your wallet. Why are you putting your hand up? Just give me your wallet. Billiard, please pull up a chair. Any chair will do. I am going to get the paperwork we are about to go over. Ah, here it is right in front of me the whole time. This chair? That will do nicely. Please sit. <sighs> so tell me, Billiard, how's the Trevor Elvis case going? Well, we are making progress, but it's not something we're going to be able that's to solve overnight. That's not what I've heard. I'm sorry, sir? I said that's not what I've heard. No, I know. I heard that part. I was asking you what you heard. Oh, right. Sorry. Well. Word on the street is, or the rumor mill, if you will, is that you're out 
gallivanting around Houston looking for some vigilante fellow. Oh. Well, yes, I am spending some of my time looking into information on the Knights of the Benedictine Seal. The what? Knights of the Benedictine Seal, sir. You mean... you mean Trevel... Trevelmus? No. Then, then who are you talking about? I would... this mysterious vigilante fellow that you were just asking me about. I'm trying to explain to you it's actually an underground society of crime fighters. I, I, I don't I don't recall saying that. Is that what I is that what I said? No. No, sir, I'm I'm just trying to explain that. You were asking me Ten about four. This. Forget it. There's no point in arguing over who did what to whom. Let's get right back on topic. Don't be afraid. Just answer my question. I did. You asked me if I've been wasting time looking for this mysterious vigilante fellow. I said yes. I've been looking up information on the Knights of the Benedictine Seal. Uh, who? This mysterious vigilante guy. Ah ha! So you were looking for him. I just said that. I tell you, Billiard. There's no point in trying to pull the sweater over these peepers. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to. Well, maybe that's why you couldn't do it. What? Look, the whole point of all this is that we need to find Mr. Trevor Ellis. Super fast, today. It's the whole reason why we brought you up from the- DC? <laughs> wherever, it doesn't really matter. Billiard, you need to stop going after your super boy and go catch me some Trevor. Yes, sir. Put the chair back from where you got it. I, uh, just going to organize my desk. Try and clean up this mess of a desk. I can never find anything here. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Mr. Billion, the lateness of your visit is most irregular. Please, consider postponing your business until at least tomorrow. Last time I was here, you said it was better that I visit at night. True. But wasn't it the last time that you said it was going to be your last visit? I mean, honestly, Mr. Billiard, these interruptions of yours are a disruption to the treatment of my patients. Treatment. You have her locked up in a basement. And you feed her once a day. You're not concerned about her treatment. You're afraid of her. I don't think I need to remind you of what happened to Dr. Westhaven. No, you don't. I've hit a dead end in my assignment. The target I'm tracking. I know, I know he's in the city, but I can't find any leads on him. I have no idea what he's planning or where he is. Trevor Elemis. Yes. He is close to something. Something important. Do you know where he is? No. What about something he's planning? What might his next move be? He wants something. Do you know what that is? Danger element. He is winding the clocks as we speak. 
where is the, the danger element? The Luciferians have it. Thank you. When you find him, promise me you'll bring him here. To me. Oasis, I can't bring Trevor Elemis here. I'm not talking about Elemis. seeing things as they really are. What we have committed our lives to is not considered possible in ordinary terms, but we are not ordinary men. We will discipline ourselves to face any hardship, training our minds to solve the most daunting equations so that we might always reach the solution that upholds justice and preserves human life. Training our bodies so that we may have the courage to withstand the greatest pain and the strength to battle evil in any form. And finally, perhaps the very most important to you, Battle Jitney. We train our spirits so that when the devil catches us at our very weakest, we may resist him and choose the path of righteousness, whatever the cost. May the Lord teach us to be generous, teach us to serve as he deserves, to give and not count the cost to toil and not seek for rest, to labor and not seek reward, save for the knowledge that we do his will. A reliable source had informed me that the Luciferians had been searching for something called the Franz Calder device, sort of a radio that could allow them to talk to spirits or something. They had purchased this piece of property several months ago, believing it might be hidden here. The informant also told me that a man and a woman, fitting the description of Houston's mysterious stuntman and his female companion, had paid him a visit asking about the same thing. This, along with the cryptic closing to my last conversation with Oasis, told me there was a good chance I might finally see the legendary Knights of the Benedictine Seal in action. I could only hope. Radiation levels lethal. We're almost ready, Mr. Carlotto. Remember me? Go away. It's okay, it's okay, I'm here to help. But I, uh, I didn't bring an extra gun. I kind of thought you'd have your own, so...
Mr. Carlotto will deal with you when he's finished. Enjoy your stay. Wow. It's really you, isn't it? Do I know you? I'm Agent Billiard with the American Top Secret Agency for the Handling of Top Secret Situations. I've wanted to meet you for so long. I'm a huge fan. Fan? Who exactly do you think I am? You're one of the knights, right? One of the knights of the Benedictine Seal. So, what's your escape plan? I didn't plan on getting caught in the first place. Apparently that's your department. You have any ideas? No. It's pretty secure. Well, we're gonna die here anyway. I need to show you this. It's just... Can you see? I mean, not everybody can appreciate the beauty and the simplicity. Oh, how did you do that? What exactly am I looking at here? That's a 1990 Geo Metro. I restore them. That's my current project. Seriously, how did you undo your ropes, though? It's working. The channel will be open in five seconds. Four. Finally. Two. One. We've lost the signal. I got it. Look out! They got it. What? Actually get to ride in this thing. You won't if you don't hurry up.
Oui, allô? Hey, how's it going there, Commodore? <sighs> I'm a doctor, you fool. Whoa, hey, easy on the name calling. Fine. What is it you want? I'm calling about that gadget you wanted. The what? The device. The device, what device? The device that you requested. Are you talking about the danger element? Yeah, that's it. The canister that I wanted? The device. That I requested? Yeah. Oh, excellent! You have retrieved it. No, actually, Battle Jitney got there before we could. That's actually why I called. What? Battle Jitney got there first. Do I have to repeat everything three times with you, man? You outnumbered him! You knew he was coming! How could this have happened? Well, sometimes you just have to let the crumbles bunch. Know what I'm saying? Nobody finds Battle Jitney, man. <laughs> we shall see about that, Monsieur Dilwit. <sighs> that man is still a dirge. It is time to adjust our plan, Rockschnitt. All right, so what do we got to do to make this work? I'll have to dismantle part of the universal pendulum to see if I can find a way to install the danger element. Well, that's not gonna be easy. We'll have to build some kind of interface. I won't know how to approach that until we get this open, but I'll probably need your help. Wait, what are you two talking about? You do realize there's no way to set a target date and time, let alone a location. I know. Well, we could end up on the moon in dinosaur times, and I'll figure that out. It seems pretty important to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dinosaur times? One step at a time. All right, take it apart, and I'll see what I can do to help you with the interface. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little overwhelmed. Understandable? I was right, wasn't I? You're one of them. The Knights of the Benedictine Seal. Maybe. You have no idea how long I have waited for this. Well, I'm flattered. So. How many of you are there here in the city? I, I mean, besides you two. You mean us one. I'm the only one. You're the only one? The only one in the city. No way. Don't tell the bad guys. You can't be the only one. Look, things aren't what they used to be. There aren't a lot of us left. Right, well, if, if you're the only one, then who is she? Oh, well, that's complicated. I've got time. She used to be one of us. She's kind of like a prodigal daughter or whatever. Interesting. She's a deserter. No, she's my sister. By adoption, anyway. Her father took me in 20 years ago. He was a brilliant inventor. One of the Order's scientists treated me like his own son. So what happened? He died while I was still in training. I was with him, and he wasn't. That's where everything went bad. Really? Sounds like things were pretty bad already. Things can always get worse. How? You wouldn't believe it, and I don't like talking about it anyway. What about you? What does the American Top Secret Agency for the handling of top secret situations want with the Knights of the Benedictine Seal? Nothing, actually. In fact, I've been instructed repeatedly to stop investigating the Knights. Then why are you sitting here? 
I'm looking for Dr. Elemis. Oh yeah, I know that guy. You're looking for him too? We can work together. No, actually my instructions were just to get that out of his hands, which I had to do twice. Once after we were captured, thanks to you. The danger element. What is it anyway? I mean, what's it even do? Well, what can't it do? The danger element can be applied to practically any purpose that man can conceive of. The Jesuits found it a few years ago. Elemis stole it while it was being studied secretly at Loyola. I don't know how he did that. I hope they figure it out before I bring it back to him. Well, you're probably not gonna have to worry about that. My agency is gonna take custody of that piece of evidence, so... Take custody from who? An imaginary religious order you've been repeatedly instructed to stop investigating? Hilarious. It's nice to meet you, by the way. The plan has changed. I need you to tell me where they have taken it. The future I have promised you depends upon it. What are you guys doing? There's no way my father could have known how the danger element would be stored or transported. So we need to find a way to install it to the universal pendulum. The canister won't be compatible with my father's technology. Um... <clears throat> what? I need help lifting this out. This is impossible. You know what he would say to you right now. Nothing's impossible. She is never wrong. And she has nothing to gain by lying. You will find it exactly where she said it would be. Bring it back to me, Andros. You don't really want to do this. It's not really a question, but you are getting better at this. I'm right, though, aren't I? Yeah, you might be. But this isn't gonna work. I mean, we're not really going back, right? Oh, you're coming now. Yeah, but this isn't gonna work, right? I, I, I mean, this whole thing is kind of ridiculous. No, no, no I, that's not what I meant. I, I know this works. How? Well, I was there the first time. Wait, but you said that no one's ever done anything like this before. Right, nobody's ever done this. What? You know, this does explain some things. You did look familiar. This totally makes sense. Okay, well, if you know that this is going to work, then why don't you want to do it? Oh, well, I'm 
pretty sure that this isn't going to be exactly what she expects. I didn't want her to be disappointed all over again. I guess you can't run from it forever, though, can you? We're ready. What? what are you doing? Hey, could you, I'm sorry, can you just make some space? Space where? There is no You're space. Well, if you just, if you scoot back. Back, there is no back. I don't know what you expect me to do here. Why are you even coming with us? Because I am playing. Acceleration What are those for? Safety. Cycle two begins in five seconds. I'm good. I'm good. Four, three, two, one. May the Lord be with you. And also with you. Okay. What? We stretched the Sharenkov barrier like a rubber band. So now it's beginning to snap back to its original time. We don't have a lot of time left. This can't be right. This is the wrong place. The wrong time. No. He planned it this way. We're exactly where and when he wanted us to be. But this is too late. Why would he bring us here? Maybe he knows something we don't. Can you give us a moment alone? You did it. I knew you would do it. It wasn't my idea. Enki, my daughter. 
You came together. That's exactly right. Very good. But this is too late. We came to save you. I know. But that was not the purpose of the Paracolite. That's not why I built her. We have to go back to an earlier date. We could still save you. You just have to tell us how to fix the problem. <laughs> Inky, there is no problem. The Paracolite fulfilled its purpose perfectly according to my design. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Why? Why did you bring me here if we can't be together again? We are together. Listen to my voice, beloved daughter. You're right in front of me. We are all together. You and I and your brother. One of the few times, if you had have saved me, this moment would never have happened. <laughs> what other force and death could bring this family back together? <laughs> if only for a moment to say goodbye. The way we wished we could. Now, let's not waste our time together. Don't let this moment be for nothing, neither of you. Enki, your brother needs you. You don't understand what you've put him through. But he left me alone. Enki, he's here now. Jitney, forgive your sister. I know I don't need to say anything more than that. Forgive her and forgive yourself. I love you, my boy, blood or not. Listen to me, my daughter. You who have broken the laws of the universe to return to me. Though you have lost faith in the Lord, I will always have faith in you. From this day forward, should you ever have a reason to approach him, know that I will personally burn the incense of your prayers at his feet. Should the Lord most high have ever smelled anything so sweet as a petition for my own new daughter. guys. Hey, he's gone. He knew I'd come back here. So what did he want you to forgive her for? What are you talking about? Enki's father. He asked you to forgive her. What for? It's the part I said you wouldn't believe. Try me. What happened?
Enki always had a hard time with all this. The Order, the Church. When her father died, she just became completely disillusioned. She left and joined a gang called Satan's Rifle. Basically a bunch of delinquent kids who had defected from the Knights of the Benedictine Seal. Really into the occult, anything that superficially insulted the Order. And he wants you to forgive her for that. No, that wasn't the half of it. Even then, she was still my sister. She always will be. So it was something bigger than that. Like I said, Satan's rifle was buried in the occult. Obsessed with ritualistic magic. This is the part I don't like talking about. I don't understand. Enki was directly responsible for my affliction. Affliction? A demonic affliction. Wait. What, like... Like you're possessed? We were never completely sure how to categorize it. Sometimes it's possession. We? we who's we? There was a priest who was trying to liberate me. He seemed to think that Cutting off contact with Enki was the first step to my recovery. Wow. I took his advice. Enki and I have been estranged ever since. Up until now, anyway. I guess we both have a few things to forgive each other for. I never stopped loving her. I told you you wouldn't believe me. I've heard stranger things. Well, have you heard of a way to find Dr. Elemis? Because I'm completely out of ideas. I think I might know someone who can help. Join you, Monsieur Andros. I see. I see that the knights have trained you to judge yourself harshly. It would seem to be their primary purpose to encourage a man to inspect his own soul with such scrutiny that he will inevitably hate himself utterly. But perhaps it is more than that. Yes, perhaps this is not just a scrutiny of yourself, but a powerful jealousy of another. I know your story, Andros. And I know his. Music and martial arts are different in their purposes, but they share a principle. The practice of these arts, both stress the attainment of a supreme state, the tuning of the instrument, as well as your understanding of how to play it, are both essential. The instrument has been tuned. Now, play me a song.
since that day, you have coveted Battle Jitney's undeserved gift to such a degree that you have grown to hate yourself. So much, perhaps, to explain why you feel this necessity to mutilate your own body in despisement of its weakness. You wonder how I could know such things? A commitment to knowledge can open the doors to many gifts. I wonder, are you willing to make such a commitment? What if you had the chance to take for yourself what you always deserved? To surpass not only Badr-Jitni's power, but also that of the greatest creatures to have ever had the blessing or the curse to walk the earth. Andros. What if I could make you a demi God. You cannot allow yourself to be crippled by what happened. Well, I can't just ignore it. Forgive yourself. Does that take away the consequences? Is it that simple? Is he that simple? I didn't say that. The universe is far from simple. All the less simple is its creator. Didn't you see what I did? You cannot change what you did yesterday. But the world may depend on what you do today. Is this my fault? These are my hands, aren't they? What the spirit does with your hands when he possesses you, is out of your control. Stop blaming yourself. What I can tell you is that his ultimate defeat must start with a decision. He lays siege to your heart. I know that you can't outsmart him, that you can't resist him day in and day out, but ultimately, he will be your subject. Because there is only one spirit to whom you must answer. Hey! I was able to talk after a minute into letting us see her. Oasis Reinberg, I'd like to introduce you with that. You need no introduction. Your unexpected pleasure. You, however, Mr. Billiard, are merely predictable. What do you need from me this time? Trevor Elemus. Predictable. We have to find him as soon as possible. And what do you want from me? A location. I know you couldn't give me one before, but... But I can give you one now. You can? He has been quite bold since your last visit. He no longer hides from my sight. Oh, that's awesome. Can you uh... waiting to meet you for so long, you can't even imagine. You can feel it, can't you? My intentions, my motives, you're only a dim light shining through a curtain to your eyes, but not beyond your perception. The world of human emotion is like an ocean in which you swim. The sinister drive of mankind is laid bare before you in all your waking hours. You see it as a curse and an affliction. 
but you should accept it for the blessing that it is. It is not your power. You are not its source. And though your logic serves you, God is not the only one who gives gifts to me. Do you have any idea who is dwelling within you? Whom you are nothing without? Abaddon, the harbinger of the final judgment of man. The angel who will scatter the dust that is humanity and reconcile its sins. The savior who will raise a just world from their scorched bones. Why do you resist him? Yours is the greatest honor. Embrace him in all of his power and glory and you will rule the new world with me at your side forever. Our destinies end in the same place. A kingdom modeled after our love. There is an essential point that neither church nor acceptable science would have us to know. And that is a tragedy, my boy. A tragedy because that point is the key to our freedom. Given the time and the resources, a man can accomplish anything. It is a freedom and a truth instilled within us by God himself. It has taken me most of my life, but I have found a way for a mortal man to become a living God. You will be a living testimony to the wisdom and ascension of Dr. Trevor Alamos! Voxnick! Rise not a mere man. Rise now, a creature the likes of which the world has not seen since the Nephilim themselves graced the kingdoms of all, long lost. Rise now, a god man! will be with you for the rest of your life. All right, this is the place. How are we gonna do this? We can't just walk right in there. I'll take care of these guys. You sneak in over there. These can't be the only ones I'll get caught. I'll take care of them too. As long as I can. Alone? Well, you gotta be quick about it. 
When they're done with me, they'll come after you. So get in there and get the danger element. Get elements or whatever it is you're supposed to do and then get out. You, cover us from out here and take the danger element away from him when he comes out. I'm not staying here. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, now's our chance. I'll go that way. Yes, you are. I propose a toast. To meddling with forces beyond the comprehension of man. And not a moment too soon. <laughs> you know, I was wondering, what's so important about that there danger element? When the world discovers the answer to this question, they will wish you never asked. What interests me this evening is a mutual enemy of ours, Monsieur Derwitt. A mutual enemy who is simultaneously the door to our glorious future. A door that is about to swing wide open. So you're saying he's about to come out of the closet? You know, there's another man who used to speak in riddles like you do. In the name of Jesus. What is wrong with you? I detect a citrus note.
Just a little longer, buddy. Trevor Elemis, by the authority of the American Top Secret Agency for the handling of top secret situations, I'm placing you under arrest for murder and international occult crimes. Crimes? That word hardly does any justice to what I have accomplished. The languages of those men who write such restrictive laws would more likely employ the word atrocities. Perhaps you would like to experience one for yourself. Police Navy Dad, Professor. I brought you a present. <laughs> now, Andros, have I not delivered you a proper vengeance? Take what belongs to you. Show him your worth. actually die before admitting the simple truth. You cannot deny it. To you, nothing is impossible. But you choose failure by rejecting me. Every one of your successes owes itself to my power. Let the truth guide your hand now. You have fallen before your enemy. Allow me to rise in your place.
spectaculaire performance, Lord Abedron. Oh, forgive me if I have spoken out of turn. I am Trevor Elemoth. We know who you are. Ever since Oasis first informed me of your true nature, I have devoted my life to ushering in your glorious reign. <gasps> Though, after years, I found myself unable to produce a circumstance that would trigger your coming. Until now. If I could not produce the positive by my knowledge, I could produce the negative and allow the equation to balance itself. I consider this moment the genius stroke of my life's endeavors. It is my honor to witness the birth of a new heir. He's a liar. I know this human is a liar. Neither of you will be spared for your deeds today. You and all others like you will perish for the atrocity of your birth. Yes, together, Lord, we will cleanse the earth of the profane... Yes, my friend. Starting with you. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my brother. My choices let him in, Jitney. He heard my voice before he ever heard yours. Your choices now can push him out. Remember what Dad said. He's not strong enough. Not on his own. What are you doing? Taking back what's mine. Yours. Do you mean the life that I just saved by force? The life that you have not the strength nor the will to save yourself. Is that what belongs to you? I'm the only reason you're alive. The only reason you've made it as far as you have. If one can make it anywhere in this desolate mortal prison. Go back where you came from. What do you know about where I'm from? Do you mean the lofty crags of the Lord's Mount of Assembly? For amen, I tell you, Satan himself took his first steps there as I did. And I have walked in far colder places. Indeed, the coldest of those being right here with you. Leave! Leave. Our destinies are interwoven. The human race is sinful. Why he hasn't struck you all by now, I would perhaps never understand. If it weren't for my obvious place in his plan. You have a place in that plan as well, Battle Chitney. You and I together will reconcile the misdeeds of his people for him. You should be so lucky. The savior of the universe has chosen you to be his servant. You can't control me. Haven't I always? Let me go. By whose authority? You have no power. I am your power. By the authority of his name. Don't be foolish. That's just a story. And you are not a child. No one would do it. No one would send their own not into the hands of the scum of the universe. It's a fairy tale. I am the one who has come into the world, come to work, come to destroy. I am the truth. What name do you call upon then, but my own? The name of Jesus Christ. Impossible. It is at the sound of my name that you bow, not his. In the 
name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke all evil spirits. Including you, Abaddon. You cannot forget what you crave to remember. I won't be gone forever. I am no mere memory to be forgotten. When you are weakest, and can see clearly that I am your only source of strength, I will return. No, sir. Actually, it was his heart. His heart came out. That's hella cool. So this uh, Battle Jitney character... What's he all about? Actually, that that's who I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> Big time criminal, huh? No. Actually, I was hoping that we might recruit him. Tell you what. Why don't you go... Recruit me up some pizza and a two lead of some Spoda. <laughs> nah. Source of your strength. I will return. 